Good morning everyone, it's, name, here. Today I wanted to talk about the recent retirement of former MP, Chris Pincher. Pincher has been an MP since 2010, and served as Deputy Chief Whip in Boris Johnson's Downing Street office. However, Pincher resigned in July last year after allegations of misconduct, including inappropriate behavior at the famous Carlton Club in London. These allegations sparked a formal investigation by the government's commissioner for standards, that is still ongoing today. If the commissioner finds that Pincher has broken the rules, he could be forced to apologize and even possibly face suspension from the Commons. But before a decision has even been made, Pincher has already announced that he will not be standing at the next election. This follows from reports of Pincher telling local and national conservative officials of his intention to retire. This news has great implications for the party and for Boris Johnson as well. Pincher was a huge part of Johnson's Downing Street staff and seeing as the allegations happened before his departure, it's worth noting the implications it had. In response to the allegations, further reports have come out that have uncovered the possible knowledge of similar allegations against Pincher from before his promotion to Deputy Chief Whip. These reports of alleged misconduct and other revelations have shed light on the numbers of people who were aware of these allegations and the course of action they decided to take. Furthermore, Pincher won't be the only casualty of this situation. Fellow Tory MP and former minister, Eddie Hughes, is understood to have ambitions to fight for the Tamworth seat in the next election. All of this begs the question, what does this mean for the party, for Johnson, and for politics as we go into the next election? Only time will tell the implications that Pincher's departure will have, but one thing is clear, this is an important conversation to have. In the days and weeks to come, it will be interesting to see what further repercussions emerge from this situation and whether we can learn anything from it. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more news about politics and more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.